Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will continue working with BNP PowerShell and understand how can we create a site column in the SharePoint Online site. First, let us understand the use of the site columns and what they are. Site columns are the fields which are created at the site collection level and that differs from the columns or the fields that are created at the list or the document library level. The columns which are created at the list of the document library level is not available to other list and the document library. The site columns however are available across the site collection and hence serves the purpose on reusability. Lists and document libraries can refer these site columns. From maintaining point of view, they are managed at the central place. Changes to a site column applies to all the list and document libraries automatically and does not require to be updated at the individual lists and the library since they are merely a reference. Let's first take a look at the product list which we will be ultimately building in the upcoming videos. We will first create a site columns that will help to build the product list. We are looking at creating four columns. The very first is the product name which we will create as a single line of text. The next column is the product description. We will create it as a multi line of text. Then we will create a product ID which will be a number and then we'll go with the product tier which is more of a choice column. So either it's the standard or the premium. Now even before that let's first understand where do we create a site column in the site user interface. So I am in one of the SharePoint sales site. Click on the gear icon go to site contents click on the site settings under web designer galleries you will observe the site columns click on the site columns you will see a lot of columns already available to be reused in the site the bold letter are the group names so the site columns can belong to a specific group. So for example, these columns belongs to the base columns. These columns belong to the content feedback group. And then you have a similar set of different groups and then all the other site columns that belong to that group. Okay. So with this understanding, let's fire up the Visual Studio code and start writing the PNP PowerShell. Okay. We have a script called create site columns.ps1. We have established the connection to the site using connect PNP online URL specifying the site URL and asking the credentials and storing the connection back in the variable. So now let's go ahead and create the site column. To create a site column, we will use add PNP field. Okay. First, we will need a display name. So a display name is a title. So we are going to have a product name. Then we will go with the internal name. So we will say internal name. Internal name, we will keep it without space. So we can call it product name. Then we will have a type. Here you will see all the different types available to create for the side column. We are going to go with text. If you want, you can also specify a group. You can say a group and then let's provide the group name. So we can say products that belongs to the products. Okay. Let us describe this in the double quotes. Okay. So this will create a product name as a single line of text. Okay. Let's go ahead and simply copy this paste it and now we will be creating the product description. So we will say product description we will go with the internal name without this and the type would be note. Okay, we can put this into the double quote and this will help and this will also put it to the group products. Okay. Let's copy this, paste it for a third. And the third column was a product ID. 
so let's keep it product id i'm just going to change the description to id and instead of node it will be a number let's put it to the double quote let's put into the same group now let's go ahead and create the choice field we'll say a product tier product tier and then instead of a number it's gonna be choice okay let's put it in the table quote we'll keep the good products now we will mention the choices okay so a choices will be standard put comma and then you will say premium okay these are more on the tires or the segments of the product all right so we are good to go executing the script let's go ahead and run it okay so first it will ask for the credentials let's pass the credentials and now it should create the side columns let's wait for the response and you can see the product name description id and tier has been created and in return we also got the side column ids that got created let's go back to the site and validate that so we are on the side columns page hit refresh now let's look for our column or a group products and there we can see we have the products and we have product description as a multi line of text product id as a number product name as a single line of text and product year as a choice so if i click on the product tier you will see it's under the products and we are having standard and premium choices available okay so i hope the simple example helped you to understand what the side column is and we have seen a basic set of field types to be added as the side column in the next video we will continue exploring some more fields to be created as a side column i thank you for watching the video